The drought has hit the content of Destiny. Players are confused as to what to do and how to spend their time. What's up, everybody? It's BBK Dragoon. Yeah, I think we've entered the content drought again. Happened after Dark Below, happened between House of Wolves and TTK. TTK has been great. Love the Taken King, man. But I think if you're like me and many of the other Destiny players, we're ready for some new stuff. The weekly update this week. Deej is on vacation for, I think, a week or two now. Well deserved. Thank you, sir. You've just served this community very well. But... I think we're all about ready to figure out what's next for Destiny. I m imagine that they're just waiting for the whole Fallout 4, Black Ops 3 hype to sort of settle down before they announce what's next. And there will be something next. I mean, 25 million registered players, Activision is not going to let this one sleep. So I have some tips today to keep Destiny fresh and to help you with the content drought. Number one, play other games. I didn't say this in my What to Do Before Taken King video, and a lot of people called me on it and were like, Are you just play another game. Right now, there's so many good things out that if you're not having a ton of fun with Destiny, it's a perfect time for a break. Nobody's saying you gotta slave to this game all the time, every day, you know. So don't. Try something new. Number two, set goals with your group. I don't know if you're like me, but when the expansion came out, I had a billion people on every single day. And now, my crew is on at scattered times, but we're mainly on for events. We're either all coordinating together, hey, you wanna do hard mode this day? or trials you know we really do come together for trials and put together a trials run so if you have a group to play with maybe set some goals say hey we need to clear hard mode we should definitely do that or i want to go flawless at the lighthouse or hey i need to go and do vault of glass so i can get the no time to explain exotic setting goals with your group is a great way to coordinate people and we all know destiny's better with friends especially during content drought time if you get on solo you're probably not going to stay on very long Number three, get ready for the raid challenge modes. We do know that's the next thing coming down the pipeline for our drip feed content stuff. They're going to be harder, challenging things within the raid. Uh, we don't know a whole lot more other than that or what the rewards will be, but it's safe to assume you want to be as close to 320 light as possible. The way you're going to be able to do that is completing the raid on normal, then hard mode to start farming up some nice light level gear, or you could also go compete in trials because the gear there has a chance to drop up to 320 light. It's two easy ways each week for you to work on getting gear to raise that light level up. I myself need to get up in that range because I'm just like the low 310s or I think 309 or something. So number four, try to go flawless in trials. Last week's Trials was a great map. This week, it's Exodus Blue, another great map. So we're getting some nice Trials maps. Better gear is dropping. I won't say the primary weapons hold the same, like, oh, level as the first year Trials weapons, but some of them can be pretty darn good depending on the last perk roll. All of the weapons are the exact same, except that last perk node has a chance to be one of usually, like, four different perks. Each one of them has an optimal roll, so... Hop in trials if you don't have friends to play with, of course, you can use, you know, an LFG like Destiny Tracker's LFG or Planet Destiny's LFG to work on finding a group. I'm not held accountable for any negative LFG experiences you may have. Do the daily timed mission. So Sleeper Simulant, Black Spindle, no time to explain. Those weapons that are only available from the daily mission, try and get those done now because when the next set of content drops, you're probably not going to find a lot of people in LFG or looking to do the Black Spindle quest. Additionally, if you don't know how to do them, hop on the Reddit for Destiny or hop on Planet Destiny's website. You know, Sleeper Simulant is today, so if you're watching this on the upload date, you can start your Sleeper Simulant quest for a pretty darn fun weapon. It ain't Yallerhorn 2.0, but it's still kind of fun to bounce bullets off of walls. Number six, don't burn out. This kind of goes back to number one, where play other games. Don't burn out. Don't force yourself to play a game just because. Just doing that will ruin you. Like, you'll get kind of salty and frustrated. So keep it fresh and keep it fun, and if you need to take a break, absolutely take a break. For me, I'm playing PvP each week, trying out new weapons. I have this cool opportunity where I get to do weapon reviews for you guys and Planet Destiny, so that helps keep things fresh for me. And I play Trials each week when I can. I'm not raiding a whole ton right now, which isn't a giant secret. I do think they're going to announce new DLC very soon, probably in the next three weeks. At the Activision earning report, you had some Activision representative who said, Hey, DLCs have sold very well and we might do more of them, which kind of ruffled some feathers because we've been operating off of the assumption, hey, silver microtransactions, isn't that supposed to pay for year two, even though that's never officially been said by anybody. So there's some drama brewing. We're wondering, you know, is Activision pulling an Activision or what's ahead? I don't know. 
Let me know your thoughts. Are there other things that I didn't cover here? Thanks for watching, and we'll see you later, Guardians.